My sister and I were very blessed to grow up in a Christian home where both our father and our mother loved the Lord. Um, we were raised predominantly by my mum after my dad passed away at a very, uh, when we were both very young unexpectedly. After my dad passed away, although I was very young, growing up I found the word father a really difficult word to grasp, especially when I observed the father-daughter relationships that many of my friends had. When I heard the word, I didn't have a voice to associate it with, I didn't have any memories to recall, and I found this very difficult for a long time. We grew up with my mum and both then and now, her relationship to Jesus was the most important thing in her life. Um, and so because of that, she made it a real priority to open God's Word with us from a very young age and get us really involved in our local church um, through the Sunday School and the youth group there as well. And I think looking back on my life, although I wasn't aware of it at the time, I can really see how God was so kind to me and the wonderful people that he placed in my life who not only loved Jesus, but who taught me how to love and serve Jesus as well. And I'd say that these are the main stepping stones which led to me eventually giving my life to Jesus. It wasn't until I came to know Jesus as my own personal saviour that I truly understood that when you know Jesus, you're given a good and gracious Father in God who loves me so much more than any earthly relationship could. And that's a great source of comfort for me. Every day I'd say, when perhaps relationships change or you lose loved ones, knowing that God is more than sufficient and that he loves us so much more than we could ever imagine or fathom is a wonderful truth to hold on to. I'd say as well that there are so many pressures in this world, I think, to make the most out of your life, to make a name for yourself, to climb the career ladder, but just knowing that this life is not about me is so freeing, um, but rather it's about getting to know our good and gracious Father, and um, serving Him and sharing the wonderful good news of the Gospel with those around me. I think of the many joyful moments in my life and also remembering that even the moments where I felt my happiest are just a small glimpse of the eternal joy that is to come and when Jesus comes back and takes his people home to eternity. So I'd say that's the hope that I try and carry with me each and every day.